So the New York Times, uh, a company who is typically extremely harsh on Trump, never usually gives him uh, any credit for anything, just recently wrote a piece, uh, The Trump Effect. And this is literally like, uh, what do you call it, antagonizing liberals so fucking much. It's triggering, triggering them to like the highest extent I've seen in a while. Because if you read the comments below, it's pretty pretty hilarious just the level of partisanship people have like how far to the extremes people have gone because the, there's there's nothing literally Trump could do some there's some shit that CNN could write now about him saying like oh he's not that bad and he's actually good for the economy etc it, it doesn't matter you you've turned at least half of the country of Americans into little monsters that cannot assess information accurately. So when they see something coming out which is positive towards him, they lose their mind, right? And within the article, they're mostly just talking about how his recent deregulation has actually brought a lot of businesses over, right? And even within the article, they're like, oh, we can't really, there's not really proof that deregulation does this, and there's no proof that... A lot of regulation slows down growth. It's like, are, are you are you kidding me? Like, really? Like, there, there's tons of proof. There's the proof right now. <laughs> he's, he's deregulated something like 1,600 different things since coming into office. And businesses are now more confident because they know there aren't going to be new regulations that are going to come in and mess with their business. People were like, oh, Trump's going to ru ruin the economy by doing this and that. It's like, you know what ruins the economy is, is introducing new regulation that all these companies now have to comply to. It's like, let's just say you had to make a new bathroom, right, for, for trannies to use. Do you think that's going to increase the cost? Do you think that's going to slow growth? Because now all these businesses legally have to build something within their establish establishment, and that costs money. They're going to have to shut down for a week. Right? Do, do, do you understand how things work? Right? They don't make money for that week. So, of course, it slows down growth. I don't see how these people are still questioning that, but it does. And taking these things away speeds up growth. Because now if I only have to make one bathroom or two bathrooms instead of three, I can build my, I can invest more of that money back into shit. So th this is not fucking rocket science. Right? This is not rock science. All it takes is for you to sit down and think for a couple seconds. So, you know, I just love the reaction of whenever just a pro-Trump piece comes out from the left-wing media, though. It's like, like I said before, they, they've created, like, their base into little monsters. So this is the same case with the whole sexual harassment shit and whatnot. Like, now accusations are proof and evidence <laughs> and you know when when a, a left-wing person comes out and it like you know grabs a chick's ass now they're going to completely try to destroy that person's life because you created them to be like this so now when they see anything that's semi pro-trump there's people oh this was written by russia this was this this was that <laughs> right but it's just funny it's like my my beliefs get more and more validation every day it seems like if it's not the the uh people losing jobs in ontario because they're raising the minimum wage of 15 dollars an hour and if it's not the increased uh economic prosperity of america because of the deregulations which i've been saying will be good right like i'm just getting more more validated every day so you know keep doing what you're doing trump and keep up the good work but that's all I pretty much had to say. If you like my content, subscribe and have a good day. See ya.